Today in this session, we'll be discussing cloud pages and we'll demo a few of the use cases. Before jumping into the session, I would ask everyone to visit my blog, type cloud page in implement. We have already compiled four block series on cloud page enablement. I'll request everyone to come to this blog and read my blogs on this cloud page series. Now let's directly jump to our cloud page. You can click on the cloud page menu here. And till today, I have compiled more than three use cases. One is one click on subscribe, the other one is button click on subscribe, the third one is lead capture form, and the fourth one is the preference center. I have tried to utilize very simple implementation technique that I'm going to demo you now. So let's go with the first use case that is one click on subscribe. So let's copy this code. Open the visual editor and open the HTML editor and on paste. Here you have the CSS part and we have the AMP script and then a HTML block. And here I'm using AMP script and through the AMP script, I'm basically creating a subscriber object and then passing all those parameters that are required for that subscriber definition and then I'm invoking the update to the subscriber object. There is no hard coding so you don't have to worry about anything. Now let's jump to our marketing cloud instance. Let's navigate to web studio and click on create collection. Give a name as subscriber management. Click on save, open the collection and let's create a landing page and say this as one click on subscribe. Click next, save. Select all and delete the existing code and let's paste our code here. Let's click on save. And publishes. Ignore this error. Proceed with the publish. Let's click on the publish cloud page. And our page rendering is correct. Let's create one subscriber. Let's go to email studio. Let's go to all subscriber. Let's create one subscriber. Okay. And I also populated the first name and last name. And let's click on finish. So a subscriber with test one, two, three, four has been created. The status is active. Let's create an email. Let me select a template. Select one existing template. Give a name as demo one. Give a subject line demo one. Let's see. Let's use this learn more as an unsubscribe button so let me change this to unsubscribe and select the landing page and let's select our unsubscribe page fine let's give the title and the alias and click on done click on next now let's select the subscriber 
so currently we have only one subscriber in the all subscriber i'm going to select this paste one two three four and click on select fine now let's click on the unsubscribe button great so the subscriber has been unsubscribed let's refresh this and let's validate the subscriber status so it is unsubscribed fine so in this code i didn't modified a single line of code and everything is working fine let's go to our second use case that is one button click on subscribe let's copy this code again let's open our html editor again the same structure we are not going to touch the css here you need to make a small change you need to just use it as a request parameter as an object so we need to pass subscriber key as a parameter request parameter in our cloud page url and everything remains the same here we are only checking the condition that if submitted equals to true then unsubscribe and this submitted is basically a hidden attribute which is here as part of our input field create on the cloud base let's give a name as button unsubscribe click next save delete this and paste our code let's click on save and publish now let's click on the cloud page url and it renders properly the next step is to basically let me duplicate this tab and update the subscriber status to true currently this is unsubscribe okay email please change the url or change the cloud page yeah so we are now selecting button once subscribe but as i told you we need to pass the subscribe key as a parameter so let me copy this code here what we are going to do we are going to pass the subscriber key as a parameter and here we are going to use subscriber key subscriber key fine here we don't have the redirect to so i'm appending the redirect to function as well let's copy this code let's paste it here let's click on next now you can see the user is active now let's click on unsubscribe so we get this page and we click on unsubscribe so we get a message you have been successfully unsubscribed let's validate the status so this is unsubscribed to the third one copy this code let's paste it in our html editor yeah similarly the css i'll come to this part of our code so in the html bar i have a form tag which basically redirects to the same page that is the page url and script here in the inputs i have not done any personalization with any m script variable what i've done here is I have written a simple SSS script to understand whether this page is a post or a get. So, through this method of platform function, 
request.network will understand whether this is a post or a get request. If it is a post, we are going to get all this first name, last name, email, consent, okay, everything from the form. So I'm using request parameter and assigning it to the mscript variable. And once I get these values, I'm going to pass it to the subscriber object. And based on the values, I'm going to update my all subscriber. Similar to the previous two different use cases. Here, I'm also offsetting the data into a data extension called subscribers. And this subscribers data extension would work as the master data extension or the lead object that you are capturing. Here also, there is no hard coding or there is no code change that you need to implement. So let me copy this. Let's go to our cloud page. And let's create another landing page. Click next, save. Delete this code and paste our code. Click on save. And publish. Let's click on the URL. So our form got loaded. Let's fill up the form. Let me give the email address as plus test 01 and let's provide the consent okay and let's click on the sign up button great so the subscriber has been created let me again create another one i'll say this as test 02 and click on agree and click on sign up let's refresh this and you see, we've created two subscribers, test01 and test02. We covered the third use case. Now we have the final one, which is the preference center. So let's copy this code. So in this HTML, we have a form tag. In this form, we have the first name, last name, subscriber key email and the preferences as newsletter and promotion. These preferences are basically publication list that I have created. I'll show you. And this subscriber key is stored as a hidden object. Fine. Here you can change the action. Here I'm using SSH. Here again, I'm using the platform request method understand the gate or the post request if it is a gate method then what i'm going to do is using the attribute or gate value function i'm going to fetch the attribute values for the subscriber like the email address subscriber key first name and the last name this first name and the last name are the profile attributes if it is a post then from the form that we have created in the html this form basically this form okay and the name attributes for each input text would be used to get the values so here i am using get form field function to get the values from the form that has been submitted to this page you need to know the publication list ID. Here, this is hard coded. So you have to keep that in mind. Let's copy this code. Friends. Center. Let's click on the URL. And this is our reference center. So what we are going to do next. Let me close all this tab. Let me first go to the subscribers. Let me provide the 
profile attributes like the first name and the last name things okay and let's click on okay open our email let's change the button and let's change the cloud page so this is the landing page and we are selecting reference center okay click on done let's preview the page let's select the subscriber which is active you can select any subscriber but i prefer to select the newly created subscribers so let's call this as the parents next and click on preference center now let's select both the publication list and click on submit and to our publication list and now you can see the subscriber count as one one here the test zero one has been added to the publication list let's open the other one promotion one here also it's added i hope you all like the demo and hope you learned something new today so i'll leave you all here and we'll meet in some another session till then see you all bye